so what's next I guess we uh, make this wheel here I yeah, 5.8 by 5.8, but but a lot more sides, 128. Mm. Yes. Then we need this part here, which holds the lid closed. I use. pen tool make it about so another one here 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 Yes. Then <clears throat> I subdi this one by hitting the tab key and put an edge in here. Alt C with mm, yeah, count of two is okay. Edge mode. Select this one, the W key to here, then <coughs> I go to vertex mode, this one, W key, about to here, another one here, W key. Yeah, this is about it. One. Maybe I need let me hide <coughs> this one. I think I need to bring this edge a bit further down, W key, and probably one more edge in here. Then <coughs> I can select this one, W key. Yes, that. That looks about right. Drop the tool. Unhide everything. Next part is the hinge here. So uh, about here. Let's say one point five but only 12 edges. Okay, so let's <coughs> work with this. New meshes, which are completely out of where they should be. <laughs> so Hide the backdrop item, then I select these two polygons, go to top view, bring them to about here, at least for the hinge perspective. Now this one comes to here go 
out of sub D mode <coughs> and I can hit the X key and extrude this top view so we can see better like so drop the two select an edge in here alt C count of two and symmetry and let's have a look how this looks perspective select only this mesh tab key yeah that looks good that looks good next I select this here go to top view again hit the X key and maybe even a bit more W key so basic center selected on the set and do the same with this one center selected on the set perspective again now I <coughs> select an edge in here, Alt C and let me see on the real one we have two, four, five segments so we need four cuts in here with uniform now we can select all these hit the B key for bevel with a round level of 1 then select the middle one go to the side view and hit the R key and pull these in, drop the tool perspective then select no, select these edges and these edges do a bevel here also but with a round level of zero <coughs> drop the tool now I can select this polygon and this one hit the B key bevel it in on the red handle shift click bevel it in a bit more and go to vertex join average that was not a good idea I must select one after the other so again vertex join averaged and the same here join averaged and if we want to have all quads we can select every second in here hit the backspace key now it's quads same here backspace key now let's see how this looks not right so first we need some edges in here alt C count of 2 
symmetry. Like so. That's already better. Now we need some in here. <coughs> C again, count of two. Now that I mean, this is such a small detail, but anyway, Alt C again, and Alt C again here. Good. Next, we do this here. But before I start, I will bevel it in just a bit. Control set. Like so. Drop the tool. <coughs> we could do all sorts of things to make this look realistic, but it will get a dark material anyway when we render it, and it will hardly be visible. So let's do it the lazy way, which is I select a vertex here and another one here. <coughs> uh, hit the up arrow key. Then go to the side view, hit the R key, and bring these words in a bit, like so. Drop the tool. Now I can uh, go back to perspective, select this polygon, go to top view, hit the W key, bring this to here. Then hit the X key, extrude it out, and now we just select one of the side polygons. So shift and then shift up arrow. And, <coughs> pardon me, rotate this a bit, like so. Drop the tool. We will not subdivide this one. So I make a new save. Zip 04. And then we do the axis. <coughs> 